Hello, I'm Adam Cooper, and I'm working at Notre Dame conducting research with Dr. Holly Gibson, and we're working on a biophosphate sensor. So a major problem facing water bodies all across the world today is eutrophication, and this comes from pollution. When nutrients such as phosphate enter waterways through industrial waste, agricultural runoff, and septic tank leakage. Now this nutrients cause algae to bloom on the water, which blocks sunlight, lowers oxygen, and effectively kills entire ecosystems. Now methods of currently detecting phosphates are rather lacking. You can detect dissolved reactive phosphate, which is phosphate chemically free found in the water. You can also detect total phosphate, TP, which is the total amount of phosphorus in your system, including inside the biomass. You can't currently detect bio, biologically available phosphate, which is what we're working on, which is found right in the middle, and that's the, water, that's the uh, phosphate in the water that the bacteria are able to access. These methods also are pretty costly, require long hours in the lab, and use noxious chemicals. So we're working on a better way to detect phosphate using a culture chamber full of yeast with everything they need to reproduce except phosphate. We then take some of this water and put it into the chamber and the yeast start growing at a rate relative to the amount of phosphorus in the system. Now we can detect this rate two ways. First, through the production of CO2 and second, by looping it through a spectrophotometer to detect the optical density of the yeast. And from these two readings, we can then trace back the concentration of the phosphorus. Our end goal is a briefcase sized device, one that's accessible, sustainable, easy to use, and affordable.